Before we get into the video people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every single month. To be in with a chance of winning them, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details are in the video description. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Apex Legends video and today guys I bring you information about when Season 2 will be teased as well as big changes coming within the next patch addressing many issues people are seeing in game at the moment now before we get into it people i wish the news i could bring you was of new content coming but at the moment there's nothing in sight to be honest kind of worrying also because as we know respawn make great games Titanfall 1 and 2 were both amazing games at launch but they dried out pretty quick and ended up dying due to no content you would have thought respawn would have learned from past mistakes if you're honest about it. Hopefully whatever we see and they have prepped for season 2 is 100 times better than what we got with season 1 because let's be honest, saying it's lackluster in my opinion is actually being nice. Okay so season 2, when will we see anything about this next season? Well guys I can tell you it will happen at E3 in June. We will be able to catch it on EA Play. EA3 2019 starts June 7th and ends June 14th. EA will have the floor, the stage on June 7th, so that's basically the first day. And that's when we will expect to see what Season 2 will offer. To be honest guys, I'm actually excited to see what comes from it. Not excited because I know it's going to be amazing, just excited to see the differences from Season 1. If any are made, that is, and the Battle Pass and the way it works with rewards. The Season 1 Battle Pass, in my opinion, was poor. Besides the number of 110, I don't think anything was worth the grind. Season 2 needs the element of reward for putting in hours which Season 1 misses. I mean, we all like to play the game, that's clear, but it makes it a hundred times better when we have something to chase while having that fun. I could state, in fact I'm pretty sure all of us could state many things to make it work. We all have ideas, let's hope Respawn do too. Respawn seem great on addressing feedback and fixing many of the issues people have. Let's hope they take the feedback into account on Season 1. Okay so on to feedback and Respawn addressing issues. In the next patch we will see many issues addressed so let's check them out. I will fully read Respawn's post here so let's go. Hit registration. While searching for possible explanations for this bug, we have been able to reproduce and locally fix many cases of incorrect hit registration, mostly related to mismatches between the way the game clients and the server post characters in their animations, but also caused by various other factors. The next patch will address these issues. However, we don't believe that we are out of the woods yet. There is still more work to be done, but we believe that the fix is coming next patch will be a good improvement and will help weed out many of the less severe issues people are noticing which will help us understand more about whatever bugs may be remaining and when we squash this thing our hit detection will be more solid than ever slow mo at the start of a match in our update on Apex Legends, we provided some info on where we were at with this issue. To recap, we know that it affects some data centers more than others. It happens on many different server configurations. And it doesn't seem to hit multiple server instances running on the same machine. In other words, it's not that a machine is overloaded and everything on it is running too low. It's that one instance on the same machine seems to be doing more work than the others. We are trying to nail down what work it's doing and work backwards to understand the root cause. Some additional info this week. By adding additional tracking and telemetry to our dedicated servers, we have identified a number of machines that were passing our health checks but actually had faulty hardware. We have removed these from our server pool and match quality should be noticeably improved in all data centers. We are continuing to profile our servers to catch hitches, persistent slow-mo and other game quality issues. We have a few server optimizations rolling out but there are many more areas of work left and as we identify these we will be rolling out optimizations and fixes and keep players updated. Audio. Two areas we can confirm will be addressed in the next patch. Overall audio performance, addressing sounds popping out, stuttering and distortion. Footsteps audio. Our other improvements are coming as well and we'll share the details in the next patch notes. Good progress has been made but we'll still have work to do. We appreciate everybody that's been providing clips to illustrate the issue. This is super helpful for us so please continue to report audio issues you find and if you can include any footage and context like series of events happening in the match that lead up to your issue. 
Also, let us know what platform specs if you're on PC and what audio peripherals you are using, headphones, surround sound, etc, etc. Piggybacking. Piggybacking is when a player drafts off other players in the squad to carry them to a good position and level up faster, but doesn't actually participate in the match, meaning they never collect a weapon, fire a shot, don't deal any damage, etc. We had been seeing some feedback from players around this and have been doing eternal investigations looking at the game data to understand how many of the matches being played are affected by this behaviour. After looking at the data and internal discussions, we've decided that in the future we'll start instituting temp bans for players that exhibit piggybacking behaviour and extreme cases could lead to a permanent ban. This change will not be immediate but wanted to give a heads up to players so you can adjust that behaviour. PS4 crashes after the 1.0.8 update. This week we deployed a small update to PS4 that was meant to update the PlayStation Store only with a new reward skin for PS Plus members and didn't expect there to be any impact for players. Unfortunately the deployment didn't go that way. After looking at players reports and testing to reproduce internally, we confirmed that Lifeline's pick me up banner was causing crashes triggered by if you've earned a banner card and hover over it in the customizations menu, viewing your banner card, squad mates or the champion's banner in the intro or on the in-world screens, inspecting someone who has the card equipped by right clicking a friend in the lobby. We've deployed a partial fix by disabling the banner and will be fully resolving the issue in the next patch. And that is it people, there we have it. Many issues I've seen people complain about being fixed and rightly so. Again though, although maintaining the game uh, bug wise is great, I will end with this. Please, please, please respawn, maintain your game content wise. It's amazing to see you guys keep it on top of bugs, but please maintain the game content wise. We got an amazing start and we understand you probably didn't expect the highs you got, but please don't let this game slip into a place of no return. Thank you. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and this is what you want to see more of, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Guys, tell me in that comment section what you want to see from season 2. On that note, I am out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.